बस 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 हो गया पानी काफी रेट डाल दे No, not yet. Nearly. I'll call you when she's down, guys. The GAR reintroduction project is a landmark in Indian conservation for several reasons. Firstly, it is one of the rare examples in which a locally extinct species has been brought back. For the first time ever, mass translocation of herbivores has been attempted successfully, opening the doors for modern conservation practices in India. For the first time again, Revenues from wildlife tourism have been used for the reintroduction of a locally extinct species in collaboration with an international ecotourism company, showing the power of wildlife tourism as an important tool for conservation. The project also showcased the expertise and professionalism of the South African experts to the Indian professionals, giving them a goal to pursue in professional excellence. Above all, the project has given the Indian conservation community tremendous confidence that when a species becomes locally extinct, we can do something better than blame mongering and wringing our hands in despair. We can bring it back. We have already brought tigers back to Panna and black buck back to Kana. There are several other uh, reintroduction plans under the constitution of the state government. Barasinga may one day be back in Satpura Tiger Reserve, where Captain James Forsyth saw it in 1862. Malav National Park may become a Tiger Reserve someday. And Sanjay Tiger Reserve, which gave us the progenitor of all the white tigers of the world, may see this beauty back in the wild someday. Kuno Wildlife Sanctuary seems to be well on its way to become the second home of the Asiatic lion and if cheetah too comes here as planned, Kuno may become the only place on this earth with all the four big cats, that is the tiger, the leopard, the lion and the cheetah. One day when our laws and minds allow, we too may be able to transform our wastelands into wildlife reserves and create jobs and business opportunities for our people blurring the boundaries between conservation and development. Perhaps mammalian extinctions will never haunt us again.